Okay, so it's FIFA 19 E Nations, which is me. The reason it's big is because it's the first LAN event I played in, in ages. And obviously when you go a while without qualifying tournaments, you're a bit nervous, right? Mm -hmm. And obviously I teamed up with Tex for this. Not a bad duo. Not a bad little duo, Not yeah. Bad. But at the time it wasn't because I wasn't seen as like a very yeah. good player as such. Everyone was, I remember before the tournament, everyone was like, oh, you've got Tex, he's just going to carry you through. And then we got to the quarterfinal and it was like you're playing Nicholas. And if you remember Nicholas in FIFA 19, crazy. Nicholas every year is unbelievable. He's but crazy. No one expects me to do anything here. Most people expect me to go and lose this 3 0. Straight down the middle, Argentina. Difficult thing for Tom now is Nicholas is one of these players when he gets a lead, he knows how to keep a lead. Is that all right? Yeah, going 1 0 down to Nicholas, yeah. it's very easy to Should lose I, your head. You've got to save the game plan. All right, so you're 1 0 down, 59th minute. Yeah. What's going through your mind? I haven't, I haven't panicked yet. <laughs> to me, if you go with constant press against someone like Nicholas, he'll punish you straight mm. away. So I'm still, I'm building up pretty slow all the time, right? Like I'm getting there, finding some space. I thought, you know what, a goal will come. I was so confident with the way I was playing. And mm. I'm just sitting there and I'm going, all right, look, it's only 1-0 at this point. I'm still in this game. Great ball into Neymar here. Look, you see me smiling, right? I'm already smiling ball there. Falls back to Neymar! <laughs> End of the game now. 87th and it's 1-1. I win the ball back. And now I'm thinking, you go win this. I've got one minute, look, I'm out wide, I've got a bit of space. In my head already, I've, I've got my name up in lights. You know you have that confidence sometimes where you think, I'm gonna score. Mm -hmm. I had it in my head, I was like, this is, this is it, I'm gonna score a goal here. Now, especially on uh, 19 when the headers were really good. Yeah, look, look, like, I, go well. I go out wide. I go out wide. CR7 back post. And I know right now you're probably thinking, why am I crossing that? But you can already see Ronaldo at the back post. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you really powered it up. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, I was ready to go for this. Nah. You, you press play. I, this still haunts me to this day, look. Mbappe looks towards the back post. There's the back oh, man. What a save. I mean, see, I mean, after this game, obviously, finished 1 1. How did you feel, obviously, keeping Nicholas to one goal? And it was a penalty as well. My first thought is frustration. When I come out there, look, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, because you could have scored. And then, and then I, I remember saying to Tex, went, you know what, that's not actually too bad. Yeah. I've only conceded one to Nicholas, who, remember in FIFA 19, he defended well, but he scored for fun. I knew I was that good, but that was like my justification moment where yeah. I was like, yeah, that, I am that good. Like, I've gone and played Nicholas and, I, and I've drew 1-1. One, one. And then I don't think it's coincidence since FIFA 19 and since that event, I've been on the up. I think like that kind of started my confidence and then obviously it's managed to carry on. No, you, you need those games, you definitely do. We have two of the best players around and this is going to be back and forth attacking football. I'm seeing Gorilla versus Tex yes. on the screen. One of many matchups. Uh, the first time I played Tex was in FIFA 18, uh, Barcelona. And the first event he won, I actually beat him in a Swiss round, but since then he had the better of me. Uh, so coming into it, FIFA 20, I was actually really good. I was very confident in this FIFA. Yeah, I remember this goal. It was actually a very, very nice goal. A lot of skill moves, but not a lot, but vital skill moves in the final third. I think that's the main thing about skill moves, isn't it? You've got yeah. to hit them at the right time. You don't have to do loads, but you hit them at the right time to be effective. Just don't overthink it. You know, when it's natural, a flare pass there into an Elastico. Ooh, Cruyff, first Ooh. time near post. Nice goal. I like the Elastico. Yeah, they're so good. I remember it was always in that moment, you know, when I'm on the fullback and I have that angle. Sometimes I can set it with an RB or an R1 fake shot to get the angle, but. It was, see, I'll do it here actually, an R1 fake shot, just to get that angle, so then when the elastico actually happens, it goes round the defender, so. Yeah, I think he's expecting you to come back inside as well. Yeah, that's kind of my go-to, that was, to be fair, when I was in that situation, close to the byline, get into the box. Beat Patrick Vieira, now the elastico, and this is beautiful from Gorilla! And that's what we were looking forward to here. If I had to ask you one thing that mm -hmm. stood out from this game, like, what, what would you say it is? My defence. I mean, obviously, you know, everyone knows Tex, you know, can score four, five, six goals. He's a goal-scoring machine, but my defence was on point. Second leg starts, you got a free kick. It's a yeah. good start to the game. We had a bit of a set piece for this, but it didn't work. Yeah. But yeah, I'm selecting Chamori here because I just know I need to get into him. If I stand back, right, Tex just has all that space to run into. His AI will just come and help him. We get the ball, we whip it in. Cristiano Ronaldo. That's what we always say about the high press. When you win the ball that high, yeah. you can just punish straight away. It's one pass and you cross it in and it's a goal. Again, you know, it's one of those ones though where I could have easily messed that up and he's through down the line. But what, what are you saying to Zach at that point? I'm playing well. Playing well. I'm playing yeah. well. I'm always confident with myself, but when you beat the top, top players, you know, it gives you that kind of boost, right? And the way I played as well, which is uh, another thing. So yeah, relief. Who do you want to win this game? Is it going to be Tom or is it going to be Cosimo? Two legs of feet through in front of us with the potential of a bracket reset. Do not go anywhere. So 
So, Tom, tell me about the game. Tell you about this. This is a bit more of a vivid memory. But, uh, I, I know this one because FIFA 21. I'm playing Cosimo because I lost the first game. You know, it was like a bracket reset. Yeah, yeah. So he was in the loser bracket. Yeah, he, he, bracket. he beat me, reset the bracket. So yeah. I have a bit of doubt. I'm like, oh, I've already yeah. lost once. You can't lose twice. Try so. to mentally reset. It's a fresh yeah. game. Yeah. And this comes in cup five, right? Cup two, I finished third. Mm -hmm. Cup three, I finished second. Yeah. And cup four, I finished top nine to 12. Okay. So I'm knocking on the door all year. Yeah, you And this is the it. last foot cup. If I don't win this, I'm never going to win again. <laughs> I had to win it. Bad play, CR7. Steal Tom! Big goal. Very, very big goal. I'm happy going in half time, 1-1, one, one, even. Yeah. You don't have to be chasing the game. A bit more mentally, I'm a bit more like, okay, all right, we're, we're yeah. playing now. This isn't the end of the world. So, second half kicks off. You got that goal just for half time. Talk me through the goal. So you through. I'm going to win the ball high. Look, I'll press in. Look at that press. The press. Let me, let me analyse that. You know what I'm like. I'm a man that loves to press. Yeah. So he's got the ball around here. And I hate defending with my centre backs. I just want the ball back as soon as I possibly yeah, can. I'm, so I'm, I'm, I'm really aggressive with both my centre mids here. Sometimes it doesn't pay off. Sometimes it's too too risky if you do it in the wrong way. Mm -hmm. But uh, I press pretty well. I think Renato and then Bruno it'll go back to back. Look, Renato, I force him backwards. Before he's even passed, I know he's got a pass there now. So I switch off to Bruno. You trap him and you just go and absolutely. And, and when you get the ball, you got options as well. Yeah, look, force the pass, where he passes yeah. it back inside. And then just build up. But like you can. You can create more chances when you win the ball higher up. Do you know what I mean? Like he, his defence isn't as set as it was if I was building up from my own third. But so you, you do, you do well to be patient though, because a lot of people probably get the ball high up and then just go. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. You do well to keep the ball. A bit of patience around here. This was, this was me in my element when I'm keeping the ball like this and now I'm playing well. It's like it's penetrating. I'm not keeping the ball for just keeping the ball safe. I yeah. trigger that centre mid run and then it opens up out wide. Yeah. the space. Mbappe brings in Atal to the attack. Atal back to Mbappe. That's the Mbappe that Tom knows and loves. I'm going into the second leg. It's now 2 2. It's just straight shootout. Whoever wins this is yeah. the champion. It's funny, this goal. I actually copy him. 45 degree. Yeah, I nearly score there. And watch, I copy him because he did that skill to me, right? The reverse last skill. Oh, that was good. And I knew how to do it, but I don't do it too much. You know, there's so many skill moves in the game. You, you, have, you, have, you have a certain set of what you go to. Yeah, I managed to. That was nice. I'll do it there. Mbappe's weak foot. I'll do it against him. It's what they call it, a taste of your own medicine. My thought process on FIFA 21 was always, if you have it with the two strikers, get a centre mid in, because the other centre mid won't track him. No way. So look, my first thought with Mbappe is, can I get CR7? No. And then I already triggered him. And I, I just know it's going to play out. I think this is muscle memory though, because we're late on in the year. Can he find the run of Bruno Fernandes? Chance for Tom! And it's the first time he is led by two goals in this grand final. Looking to go on his own, looking to bring in Neymar. Keepers off his line, cuts it back inside! And he's 30 minutes away from taking the trophy home. I thought, I've never been, I've never been three goals up though. Never been three goals up. This is new territory If you lost me. this from a three goal lead, you would not. I'd never forgive myself. You'd never forgive yourself. That's the moment when I won it. When you score that, when you go four goals ahead, that's when yes. I knew it was done. Yeah, especially like 20 minutes to go, it's game over. Yeah, you see, I bring on a Dharma Traore. I'm a pace abuser, you know, you know what it is. You love I try and cross this back post, look, I thought it was CR7 or Mbappe, one of yeah. them two was going to win it. He yeah. gives it to me and then I get that luck. When, when goals like that go in, you're four goals up. Yeah. That's when I knew it was, it was game set and match. Months of hard work, years of the grind. A minute of added time, set and stone. He's done, he's dusted. Tom has a European major. This is relief. This is a man that's lost like three finals yeah. that year. I've kept losing. And you have a mental block at times. You think, if I keep losing, I'm, not, I'm never going to win one. Four years of competing. Yeah. It took me four years to win an EA major. So. They're not easy. On his home console with a three away goal advantage. 3-3, three, three, I brought it back. Um, fresh start, I'm on my favourite console. I was, Surely you're I was really good with confidence, yeah. So you drew 3-3 three, three on PlayStation, yeah. and now you're one leg away from a World Cup win. The biggest, the biggest yeah. tournament, really. So everyone knows it. Everyone wants to be a World Cup winner. Do you want my context on the game? Go on. I was actually watching it at home. Oh, this was my part, yeah. This was when I was like, I was younger and I hadn't made it uh, professionally as a FIFA player yet. Mm -hmm. So I had to convince my family that like FIFA was where I'm going to go. Yeah, yeah. So I made them sit down. I was like, look at this, look, they're at the O2. Look, he's English as well, like anyone can do it. Yeah. So yeah, basically you were, you were my convincing tool at this point. And, here we and I, made, I made the family sit down in the lounge and watch this, watch this masterclass yeah. we're about to see. Three goals scored away. Can he break the scoring here early on? On 
the edge of the box from Dan Gorn in towards Hollett who pulls it back. But You've got this trait of um, when a game gets bigger, you play better. Yeah, I I've don't noticed know if, that don't like, know if even since we've been practicing. Yeah. I've noticed that whenever the occasion is bigger, you like lock in more and you get better. And that's a good trait to have, I think, yeah, because a lot of players would, would struggle under this pressure. This isn't the normal game of FIFA. But yeah, I remember this. Um, we had Suarez at top. And we had Nain Gold in the midfield, a team of the season version. I remember Hullet was sitting in front row. I don't know if it's in the first or second leg, but I score with Rude Hullet and I give him the little, uh, little finger point. Oh, is Rude Hullet in the crowd? Yeah, that's why I did it. I scored with Hullet and he was in the front row and I just came all... You're telling me you got the composure to remember to do that yet? Yeah, Honestly, Cup before final. I even went into the first leg, I knew he was there, so I was kind of in my mind. If I scored with him, I'll give him the little uh, finger So word. you're building up a Hullet goal? Yeah. This is a good run, though. That's a great ball over the top for Ronaldo. Get a parry. It's got to be. A good run of score. As soon as I scored that first goal, I was so confident because it's like, I'm not going to lose this. I'm on Xbox. I think two things I picked up from that goal. One, that's a very you goal with how direct you are. Yeah. That's very, very direct. I mean, within within goal three kick. passes you've yeah. got into his box. And secondly, did you not feel pressure of like a live stage? Of having You've got football legends watching you. Yeah? Like people like Rude Hullet watching mm. you play FIFA. It's not that normal, is it? I was fine, honestly. Like in, in this type of environment, I used to remember the FIFA 17, I had like two, two and a half years of experience of LAN events and stuff yeah. like that. Obviously, this is completely different, but I'm just sitting down playing FIFA. Like the screen's there, I'm, I'm locked in. You know, I was always focused on that, to be honest. You know what they always say about champion spend? What's that? You need your bit of luck. No, you do. First goal, a little bit lucky, arguably. Got a bit lucky here. Cross goal, that should go in, to be fair, but the post saves me. And I remember this game was like. The game was on my side, right? You know, his, his chances weren't happening, and obviously I got that lucky goal. So it was, it was on my side, right? Well, on the stroke of half time, and he comes in again, and it's Holly that comes in from post. <laughs> and the other Holly, the real Holly, is on his feet. <laughs> and then going on back to Holly, he's going to show the runner, Dembele, deflected for Ronaldo! It's 4 0 for huge Gorilla! The game's wrapped up now. You know it as well, deep down. Yeah. Four goals. It's actually impossible for him to get four goals unless you think, start scoring. I don't think uh, the FIFA 17 would have knew that until 90th minute. But you know what it was. I said it's to myself, so <laughs> I said to myself before the tournament, like if I qualify, that, this is the first time I qualified for it. I was that confident. I said to people, like if I qualify for it, I'll win it. Um, so to do that, to get that trophy, uh, that's what was uh, the main thing for me. But yeah, I, co I come into FIFA knowing that the World Cup is the biggest tournament to win, and to, to do it on my first go. It's kind of like FIFA 17, or I don't know, I must be like 20 then I think. Gorilla is the 2017 FIFA Interactive World Champion. Yeah, $20,000. That is a, that is a calm cool. and composed reaction. I'm just watching yeah. you there. Do you know what, genuinely, looking back, I, I kind of think to myself, why was I not like sprinting and stuff like that? You know what I mean? Like running around the stadium and that. Um, I've got some confidence as well. You put your hand out to Rude Hullet first. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not so sure. Shake my hand, mate. Do you know what I am? World <laughs> champ. I'm not sure about the chin strap back there, but... Uh, there we go. We yeah, we, we were talking about your FIFA 20 moments, and, and I was a fan of the hair and beard, but I don't know, I don't know about, about the chin yeah. strap. I'm not I sure. think I improved it because obviously this is 17, isn't it? So. Oh, it's a great post there, Neil, yeah. as well. Yeah. We're giving it just the number one. The number one. Thank you for watching. These were our master moments, and we'll see you at the Team of the Season Cup. <laughs>